Hi guys and welcome to another Motor Monday. It's an early morning for me and I am the Talbotron. Today we're reviewing the Peugeot 3008 1.6 HDI. Hi you guys and thank you for joining me on what is a very early morning for me. I don't know what time it is you're watching this but oh it feels early. It really does feel early. It's coming up to winter. The nights are rolling in. It's cold. I've got shaggy hair and a shaggy beard growing on so I'm ready to hibernate. And fortunately for me I'm in a cold really good air conditioning. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is the Peugeot 3008 or 3008, however you want to say it. Um, this is another diesel. I think I'm yet to bring you a petrol review yet, but I'm sure we'll get round to that in the near future. Um, the model that I'm driving at the minute is an automatic. And let's get down to the pros and cons of the interior, shall we? Um, the interior is actually quite nice. Um, it's it's very plain, but that's good because it doesn't need to be anything special. Um, it looks good. Um, it's all kind of nice, smooth black plastic, and like I say, it doesn't really need anything else. It looks good, you know, with what they've done, it looks good. Um, where I'm sat at the minute, they've kind of sectioned the driving area, the driver off um, from the passenger. And it, it gives you a feel of almost like you're in like a cockpit, you know. Um, it's kind of cool to be honest, I do kind of like it, I don't know if that's just the geek in me, you know, getting all, all happy with it, but you know, it, it does feel quite cool and I really like the, uh, the dials as well, um, it's all bright white lit, um, black background, so they really stand out quite sharp. Um, honestly, they are so easy to read and easy to look at and like, glare in your face. I really like the idea of the design of them. Um, Again, the seats in here are really quite comfortable. I am very comfortable, to be honest. I'm in a really driving position. Um, my foot's resting on a little kind of wedge, shall we say, because I'm just sat here. I'm talking about it, it's automatic. And I'm sat here doing just under 70, uh, and my foot's quite happily sat there, and it's even made so that I don't get deep pain thrombosis, and that's good. I don't like deep pain thrombosis. I don't want it to get deep pain from those, so you know, no I don't. Um, yeah, the interior of the car is really good. Um, the storage is pretty much everywhere. The middle storage, I have never seen anything like in my life. It is avenous. It's huge and it's also really cool. So like, you can put your drinks in there and stuff like that and keep it nice and cold. But it is massive. There's another little kind of business card slot or whatever it is in the middle. Um, the place for your, your bottles of pop and whatnot, your door cards. Um, and the sunglasses that will hold up. Um, so yeah, plenty of places you can put things in the cabin. Um, you know, seats in the back. Good leg room with me, I am quite tall. But good head room, people behind you can have good leg room. So yeah, all in all, it's, it's a quite a good cabin. Um, one of the nicest ones Peugeot make, I'm going to go out and live and say it is. It's, it is, yeah, it's one of the nicest ones Peugeot make. But. Now, the outside of the car is pretty. It's not. It's, uh, it's been put on stilts again. Um, awful to be honest. Um, the front of the car is doing this. Uh, I'm a uh, it's got a really big gaping front mouth. Uh, oh, oh, it's, it's not a pretty car. I mean, the back's not much better to be honest. Um, it's not a great looking car at all. Um, sorry Peugeot, but uh, it ain't pretty. It's not going to win any new contests. But, Designed in the way for maximum visibility because out the mirrors and the rear view mirror, I can see the world 
um, great give over the money because it's I'm still busy again. I've got a good high driving position, which is you know kind of extreme back. You can still see quite clearly everything in the back. You know it's not the back is a little bit further. So in that sense, it's good. It is good, um, but she's not going to be winning any group beauty contests. She really isn't. Um, handling is great. Um, straight roads like this, the suspension is nice, it's ticking over nicely, it's, it's a nice smooth ride which I'm really happy about, but around town again, it's it's not great at all, um, the gearbox in this is an automatic and it's so jerky, it's unbelievable, and, and it also confuses itself so much, and I was on a 40 mile an hour road and I was doing 35 because I was, there were little hills and whatnot like that. I was, uh, you know, going up hill and downhill, and the car was so confused. I was like, oh, I need to change down. Oh, no, I need to change up. Oh, no, I need to change down again. And I was just jerking so much forwards and backwards. No giggles. All good. Um, oh, it was just, it was, it was horrible. It wasn't comfortable at all. Um, and then you put it into manual, and you know, it's, it's a lot better with these flappy paddles. It is. It's, it's a lot better, but again, by no means perfect. The jerky just doesn't, you know, it goes away sort of, but it's not great. And one of the things that annoys me, if you turn in the car, the paddles are still on the collar. So say you want to put, change gear or something, You've got to move your hand all the way back while you're doing the turn and maneuver that. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it, I don't like it. It's a, it's a real shame, to be honest. Um, I, just, I just don't like it. Um, on a good note, the engine is nice and quiet. There's no road noise here. I'm going to give the engine its own little kind of spot in it. I'll talk to you about that a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm comfortable, that's the main thing, and I am really quite comfortable with Peugeot, it's done quite well. Um, so yeah, uh, it's, I'm not a fan of the looks out of the gearbox, to be honest. Sorry. Right, the engine's actually something special, but I think so anyway. It's Peugeot 1.6 HDI, um, and I don't, I, I don't know if it is now, but I believe it to be. It's the most economical engine on the market so far. Um, there's just shy of half a tank in here, and I've got 242 mile range. Um, and it keeps going up. I'm doing, I'm on a dual carriage, well, I'm on a main A road, dual carriage way, and the range is ticking up slowly. It's, it's as if it's growing on fuel. Um, I'm pretty sure it's saying it's extremely low emissions. All the, the details and the facts and figures will be down below, um, so check them out. But yeah, the engine on this thing's brilliant. And for a one single put in such a big car, it doesn't struggle. It's, you know, it's sharp. It should be better if it was a manual, because you wouldn't get the whole gearbox lag. But, it's, you know, it, it picks up pretty sharpish. Um, and it doesn't seem like it lacks power um, in 17. It's not yeah. It has got six gear so that might help but I'm sat doing 17 now just under that. Literally just over 2,000 pounds. It's, you know, the engine's not struggling at all, which is fantastic. I really, really like this engine. It's, it's a fantastic little engine, but oh, the rest of the car kind of overshadows it. It's sort of, it's spoiled because of the rest of the car. Um, yeah, so the engine, very good, very, very good. Right, practicality in living with this car, um, to be honest, it'd be a great family car. It's, there's so much room in, in the, the cabin. It's, you know, all the seats are also fixed. You can get your kids in your ease, the boot's huge. Um, again, there's little storage pockets all over the place. And it's not, it's not a challenge to drive the well, car from here, but the whole steering and maneuverability and stuff like that. You know, it's great. It 
would be a good fun car to be honest. If you could just get over all the, the little niggles. Um, it's practical for what it is, I suppose. It's, it's too big for what it is, but you know, if, if you think of it as a big car, it is practical. It's, as big cars go, this one's small enough to fit in tight spaces. It's not let down by not having the room small for all the other big cars. There's plenty of room in here. But it shouldn't be a big car. It should I mean I don't know what they're trying to do by putting on stuff. Because it hasn't got ground clearance to go off road. You know, it, it's, it's not like a BMW X1 or an X3 that has got that kind of size to it. I really don't know what they try to do here, to be honest. Um, I just don't see the point in it. The most, like I say, the only thing I can think of it would be for a family car. Um, but then I would just probably go by a 308. Um, it's, it's a shame, really, because they've, they've not done themselves any favours. I don't see the point in the car. Um, it, it's nice on these long journeys and stuff like that. It's, it is, it's, nice to drive but if that's its only redeeming feature then you know, God help it. Um, the engine, like I say the engine is really good. Um, but again it's just it's so outweighed by everything else. Um, it's such a shame. Um, I can't really say anything more about it. It's, it's just like this car could be so much better but It's not pretty. Yeah, I mean, if you find it good looking in there, fair enough. But I don't like the looks of this car at all. Um, I don't think the cabin looks good, the outside doesn't. If you turn it inside out, then maybe that'd help. Um, but again, the gearbox, the manual, get it in the manual. Don't bother with the automatic, get it in the manual. Um, I've drove manual once of these before, and it's just so much more of a pleasant drive. But again, the size of the I don't know why it's so big and I just don't understand. I don't understand it, I think it's more than I don't like it. I just don't understand it. Um, it's, it's a real shame to be honest because there's, there's things that, that you know, tick all the boxes like the visibility is good, the space is good, but at the same time, why does it need to be so big when the space is only what it is? It's not much bigger inside than a, a, a 308, you know what I mean? Or maybe like a 407s, it's, it's, I just, I don't know. I don't, can't get on with this car. It's, it's a big shame, to be honest. So, unfortunately, the rating that I'm going to give it today, it's, it's a 6.4. It's, like I say, there's just so many things that it should have been better at, and it's just not. Um, the long drive comfort and the engine have really redeemed this car um, because the looks and gearbox and it's automatic. If, even if it had been a manual, it would have more points. But um, unfortunately, I, I just can't, can't do more than that, and it's such a shame. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, it's not a good one this week. But, guys, I hope you found it informative and enjoyed it um, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Peace.